a best of three between Juxa Hazard taking on Jongers Unchained. Juxa Hazard getting the offensive attack out here early. Here comes Knox all the way from the other side, but a good clear out from Melendel out to 50 cal. 50 cal putting this one into the middle. No one there to follow it up. It's Mr. White. Plays that one to 3 4. A little bit of a miscue there as Botsy getting on the ball now. Trying to play this one across. Ooh, he just whiffs that one in the corner, but is right out to 50 cal. Puts a shot on net off the crossbar. A great shot from him. As the rotation coming in from Elendil. Now another shot. Making Mr. White get up for that one. 3 4 now. Going for that, but 50 cal does a good job of getting in the way of that. As Botsy gets the clear away. Here comes the follow up. Oh, it doesn't connect there in midfield. Botsy free to go for this one, though, as he whiffs away on that one. 3 4. Getting on top of that one. Now Knox on the dribble. Trying to find this wall and pass it off to his teammate. He doesn't connect on the pass. As 3 4 is the last man, Mac. A good shot from him up and over Botsy, and 3 4 finds the first goal of the game. Oh, 3 4 catching that Jongers Unchained defense out of position. Look, the goalie coming out so early and just. You can oh. just tell at that moment. He's like, oh no. <laughs> at this moment, I bucked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jukes of Hazard going up 1 0. Botsy now on the ball, dribbling this one back. A good play by him to just keep ball possession. No threat here. So Lindell doesn't connect, but he does connect with 3 4, so at least he didn't get the touch. Flick coming on from 3 4 as Jongers Unchained has a lot of time in their half. This one gets flicked out towards the goal. A good clear out from Alindal. This one might drop in for him, and it goes off the crossbar. The follow-up coming in. What a touch coming out of Jukes of a Hazard. Was that Mr. White? The way he was able to pop that ball up over the attacker. Uh-oh, this one pinches back towards the goal, but it's a little bit wide as Alindal. A double touch coming out from him. It works out. And a good clear from him. Alindal staying with it as 50 cal. Getting on top of this ball as... Or 3 4, excuse me, gets in the way of that one. Now knocks a good touch from him up and over the crossbar. No one there to follow it up, though, as 50 Cal tries to get a piece of this one. He does as he pops it over the first guy. A good touch by him. Can he get another one? He can. Plays it across. A great pass from him, but the follow up wasn't there in time. It's Mr. White trying to do something with this one as he's bouncing the Jukes of Hazard half. Good clear from Knox. Botsy in front of the goal here. Trying to get this one up and out, but Knox beats him to it. It's bouncing down to 3-4. Donger's unchained. Now on the attack, Botsy trying to play this one across as Mr. White dunks that one away. This ball popping up and over. Donger's unchained's goal. This one's dangerous for him as it drops down. 50 cal getting in the way of that one. Follows it up with a clear, but straight back to his half as we enter around halftime here. Jukes a hazard. Only up one goal as Donger's unchained. Hanging in there. Mr. White playing out the 3-4. A good play from them, but dunked away by Jongers Unchained. Now 50 cal. Trying to catch this, catch up to this one on the wall, but not able to get there as 3-4 clears this one away. Alendel popping that one out towards the mid. 50 cal dunking this one down to Alendel. Can he put this one on frame? He tries to. It goes back out. The demo coming in from Knox. Jukes a hazard. This, this game's been a little bit back and forth. Jongers Unchained not finding the net, but definitely pressuring quite a bit here. Right, we've seen it get so close so many times. Oh, what a bump! <gasps> oh. So close again. Only a one goal margin between the two teams, right? This game is actually a very close game. It could have been going either way, if you ask me. I really see a lot of good play coming out of both these teams just to, you know, some of the defensive plays we've seen really from both sides have just been excellent. That's always an indicator of a good game, if you ask me. Yeah, these teams are definitely very well matched, right? They're equally matched. I don't think mm -hmm. there's too much disparity in skill here as a one goal differential is definitely a sign of that. Now Botsy dunked away by 3-4. 3-4 hanging in there as it goes out to Mr. White, but Donger's on chain getting in the way of that one. A Ooh. good touch from him. Is this an open net? It is. It's Jukes Ooh. the Hazard not able to make it. Alendel ties the game up. This guy has spent his time in free training for sure. <laughs> Look at that. What placement all the way across the field at 72 kilometers an hour. That's definitely fast enough. And the defender almost so close. He could taste it. He barely touches it, but wasn't able to get in front of that. That was really well done to spot that there was nobody in goal to stop a shot. Taking a look at the stats there as the shots are pretty much even. Only a one shot uh, differential. Both teams as Jukes of Hazard threatening now. As this game's tied up in the last minute here, we might have our, as if the series goes this way, we could have our first game three. 50 cal. A good clear out from him. 
Looking for a follow-up now. Mr. White clears that one away. It's a 1v1 situation for Botsy here as 3-4 gets him with a little bit of a mind game there, waiting for Botsy to panic. Jongers on chain able to rotate back in, though. 50 cal, a good touch from him, but not able to follow up from his teammates. Mr. White puts this one back into the corner. Oh, too hard on the touch there. That could have been a really good setup coming out of Knox. Jongers untrained, threatening again. 3-4, a little bit of a dangerous ball, but all according to plan with Mr. White going across. Now 3-4, trying to get the touch on it. Mr. White has a shot here. 3-4, trying to backflip that one in, doesn't get it. Alendl able to clear this one away. Double whiffs coming out for both teams. It's Mr. White trying to get on the ball here, but we're going to overtime. Our first overtime Our of the first night. first overtime, Corelli. Let's go. Jukes a hazard. Winning that kickoff. A good touch from 50 Cal, just slowing this attack down. But Knox trying to go over that pinch. He gets it. This ball rolling back towards him. Winning the 50-50, popping it over the second guy, but not able to follow up that. As 3-4 puts a shot on net, but Boxy, Botsy, excuse me, pops that one up. Alendl now. Clearing that one away. Jongers unchained, threatening. This ball pops up towards midfield. Jukes a hazard. Has a chance here, but Alendl shuts that down immediately. This ball goes out towards the corner. 50 cal's a chance on net. Botsy trying to put it up and over the crossbar. He couldn't get over that one enough as we're almost a minute into this overtime. Right, these teams so evenly matched. Really, a lot of these mistakes are coming in the final touch where like the pass is just not quite there or you know the, the shot just doesn't really have the accuracy or the power necessary for one of these teams to break through. As we pass a minute in this overtime, Mr. White has an open net, and that's going to be the end of game one. Oh, a little bit of a disappointing ending, if you ask me. Oh, the blue team just overcommitting and a slight little whiff on that. I think that last defender expected that aerial to connect, and it didn't come through and left the goal wide open for Jukes of Hazard. Such a close game as we see. Oh, these are, cars are so sexy. The breakout Type <laughs> S with the uh, chainsaw. <laughs> The Dominus GTs, the chainsaw, <laughs> The of matching course. chainsaw, actually. Very close game from both these teams. We take a look at the stats real quick. Three saves for uh, uh, Jongers Unchained, and then Jukes of Hazard, only, uh, only two saves coming out from them. So very close stats um, for both teams. As That was a nail-biter. Game one. A I, nail -biter. I'm feeling the game three already <laughs> in this one. Oh, I'm liking the energy, Crowley. That was actually a very exciting game, to say the least, just because of... Both teams really not afraid to attack there at any time. Yep. And I love that so much when you see these teams really play aggressively, not afraid to take risks because with no risk, there's no reward, right? Exactly, so. exactly. And these teams were so evenly matched in the sense of, you know, there was a lot of attacking from Jukes of Hazard's side, and there was a lot of attacking coming out from Jongers Unchained. It wasn't so one-sided that we've kind of seen in the last couple games as, you know, Retrograde was able to control a lot of the game, but, you know, not able to score too many or at least many goals as we thought they could. Um, so it's good to see both these teams kind of go at each other's throats left and right as we enter the second game here. 20 seconds in. Here comes Botsy with a shot on net. 3-4 predicted that one, but not able to connect. As Knox comes all the way across, but Alendl there to shut that down. Jongers unchained with a lot of time here. Alendl panicking a little bit with that ball as 3-4 clears this one away into the corner. Trying to follow this one up so a teammate can put it away. He doesn't connect, but the goal is wide open as Mr. White slams it home. Oh, so close to getting the goal himself. He had a teammate there to back him up. It was a really difficult pop for the defenders, and both of them just rushing so hard. Sometimes you can tell he's trying to block a shot, when in reality he just needs to go straight for that ball and push it across because as we saw, that attacker was there. He was going to get it in no matter what. 3-4 with the right idea there, but not connecting, but Worked out for them in the end as they score that goal. Jukes of Hazard taking a 1-0 lead here as we go through the first minute of gameplay. A whiff coming out for Mr. White. This is a chance for Jonger Chain. 50 cal 1v1 situation. Tries to pass it across. 3-4 good defense coming out from him. And that was a smart play from Jonger's Unchained. Uh, the, the attacking player was able to bring that ball down and then try and, and make a dribble out of it instead of just taking an outright shot when the ball exactly. came to the ground. It's really important that you emphasize you know, the patience and Understanding that if you just hit the ball as hard as you can, you won't be able to catch up to it. Yeah. You just have to sit and watch it. Botsy going up for this one. Jongers Unchained knocking on the door here a couple times now as this ball pops up into the mid. A good rotation out from Jongers Unchained, realizing they're not going to be able to get to that one. But this one flicking off 50 cal. Alendel able to clear that one away, but 
Mr. White shutting that one down, now playing with it in the corner as Botsy comes out and clears this one away. Dime going for a flick. Botsy, a good touch from him. 3-4, able to stay, shut that one down in net. The attack still coming from Jongers on Chain as two go from that from Jukes of Hazard. Now Botsy trying to play this one off for his teammate. A good flick from Mr. White to slow down the attack. 50 cal trying to bring that one down, doesn't connect. Still a good play from him, though, just to slow things down. As Jukes of Hazard now on the attack. This one's coming across. Botsy popping this one towards the mid. 50 cal trying to get the flick on, but this ball just bouncing past everyone as everyone whiffs. Botsy now on the ball, trying to get a dribble going. As Jongers Unchained, it seems like they get all the way down the field. Is this one's just going to roll in for Mr. White? Yeah, I noticed that all the players were so far forward. I was like, this is going to be really dangerous. Easy opportunity for a counterattack and just having the ability to clear the ball and put it on target. It's so It seems so simple, right? But it yields you goals like this where somebody just doesn't have the boost or the positioning to be able to get back in time. I was going to make the point that Jongers Unchained seem to have a little bit more offensive control in this game, which is great but they're being caught a little bit on the defensive rotation or mispositioning of their players, and, and they're giving up two goals. This could still be a 0-0 game, but Jongers Unchained really, uh, they're getting caught on the back foot, but they're also really not creating any dangerous chances. It seems like they get all the way down the field, and then they just kind of lose a little bit of that offensive spark as Jukesa Hazard had an open net there, not able to put that one away. I think trying to go for a bit of a mind game by taking it slowly instead of going fast for the easy goal, but... I'm not sure what the angle he had on his car. I think it would have been okay for him to just go straight for it. Flip coming on from Mr. White. No one there to follow up now as Botsy. Good touches from him, but Knox read it well. 50 cal, the last man back, doing a good job of just keeping this one out of his end. Not able to follow that one up, though. Botsy popping that one up at 3-4, shutting him down. Rotation. Or I guess the literal rotation out of a Lendl there to whip around over to 50 cal now. Not able to get up fast enough. Good touches from Botsy, though. I, I like how often he's kind of bringing that ball down and trying to make Jukes a hazard win a 1v1. Yeah, something can be said about forcing other players into, forcing the other team into those 50-50s. It really takes them out of the game. 3-4, beating a cut back oh. on him, beating two players there, making it 3-0, Jukes a hazard. Oh, such a nice dribble here coming out of 3-4. <laughs> Look at this cut. And actually, both defenders trying their best to predict the trajectory of the ball, but they went so <laughs> high. And that's the benefit of those flatter cars we were talking about earlier, where they're just able to pop the ball up so high that it's it's so hard to predict sometimes. Gosh, Duke's a hazard. Cars are just so sexy. One of them's got the Dominus Heat Wave. Uh, the, the Breakout Type S has those yellow, or I guess they're called Saffron uh, Chakram wheels. <laughs> um, so good, good car choices coming out from Jukes of Hazard. I like it. Jukes of Hazard looking to take a clean sweep here. So they're up 3-0, 3-4, coming in all the way from his line. Alendel now clearing this one away. Out to 50 cal. Does a good job of keeping this one on the attack as Alendel's up for that one, but Mr. White gets a touch on it. Now Botsy, no one there to follow it up. Mr. White trying to cut it past 50 cal. I really like seeing 50 Cal pressure the ball in that situation. Even though he's the last defender back, he doesn't let Jukes of Hazard actually get the ball into the other side of the field very easily and in control. And that's such an important ability to just keep any attack from being set up. Yeah, and especially when you get to higher levels, letting good players sit on the ball like that and get control will be devastating to your mm -hmm. defense. Jungers Unchained have 10 seconds to turn this one around. 50 cal trying to get something going. Lendl now popping this one out to Botsy. Botsy goes up for it. Doesn't connect as Jukes at Hazard going to be taking this 1-2-0 right. in the series, winning this game 3-0. As, you know, uh, Jongers Unchained looked really good. They did. Uh, they they looked extremely well, especially in the second games. I mean, I know they lost 3-0, but they looked really good. They looked connected with each other. They looked like they were playing as a cohesive team. They just couldn't get that last little 10% of putting that ball into the net. They couldn't get that, that just that little, <laughs> you know. <laughs>